Now let's have a look at what we created here. We have a couple of new variables in the data. An unstandardized predicted value, residual, and several standardized DF betas. Remember, these were meant to find cases in the data that um, might be considered an outlier. And typically, the field starts to worry whenever these standardized DF betas are close to 1. So one thing to do would be to have a look at the frequencies and then not of these, but of those. And then we see this one is running from minus 0.4 to plus 0.4, minus 0.4 to plus 0.4, minus 0.5 to plus 0.6, and minus 0.88. No, I don't like that too much, to plus 0.5. So, strictly speaking, according to feel, we shouldn't worry too much about this. And for ease of exposition, let's not. Although, I do remember from uh, the beginning that there might be uh, a trouble ahead with a couple of outliers that we might have. Uh, another idea might be to think about a interaction effect. Um, there's a positive effect, if I remember correctly, of winter rain. Uh, what was that? There. A positive effect of winter rain and a positive effect of a, a high temperature. Now I can imagine that we have both, but that would be super extra good. Uh, I have no clue, but I'm just guessing here. So if I would think that the effect of winter rain is actually bigger if uh, the temperature is higher, then what I would need to include is winter rain times the average temperature. So let's have a go at that. I'm creating a new variable. Winter rain degrees. And let's calculate it like this. Let's paste that back to the syntax. There you have it, wind rain times degrees. I'm going to create this in my data. I now have this variable included as well. My data set is starting to get messy already. So what I'll do is go to the variable view and then Get rid of those. So now I only have the log of price that I created in the beginning and the interaction effect. Let's try another regression here. Regression linear. And now let's include that interaction effect. Double check the statistics. Right, diagnostics. Let's forget about the plots for now because I know what's going to happen. Let's also not save too much of this. I don't need it now. No bootstrapping, nothing. Paste. Uh, in the syntax window, we now run the. Oh, where did we give me the scatter plot? I don't know. Let's get rid of it. Do not add the dot in the end. There we go. Now let's see what's happening here. Okay, we get lots of variables here that are not significant anymore. And we get, boom, variance inflation factors that are really, really high. Uh, we should worry at 10. And now we have 844, 26, and 777. So this is not good. Probably the winter rain times degrees is uh, correlating too highly with one of the other ones. And let's see if that intuition is right. Bivariates. Correlations of all the predictors. No. Let's see. Ah, here we have the interaction effect and a correlation of 0.985 with winter rain. So statistically, these two in our data are more or less the same. And we shouldn't include this one. So we had a nice idea about an interaction effect, uh, but in fact it's not working uh, because, statistically speaking, the interaction effect itself is too close to the original variable. So this is not working and we should in fact leave this out.